Hey guys, it's me, it is Chelsea. So this is gonna be a quick book review, or probably a book story. I don't know if I'm gonna do a book review, but. So the other day I vlogged <laughs> me opening a mail vlog, and for some reason it's on its side, so that's interesting. Okay, so I won this book. It's a letter of congratulations. Here's the book. So basically, I'm a member on goodreads.com, a place where I track what I'm currently reading my bookshelves. It's also a way for me to keep an inventory of the books I own, because I don't go to a library. I typically buy my books at Valley Village and read them. But anyway, on goodreads.com they have contests, and every so often I get bored at night and I just enter a bunch of really, really random ones, um, and I guess I won one. Thanks, congratulations. I won this prize from Chronicle Books, and it was an advanced reader's copy of Elena, Elena Vanishing, or Elena, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, and it was a memoir. Typically, I don't go for biographies. Um, I'm more into, like, historical fiction books, or, you know, news fiction like The Hunger Games, but ever so often I do... Do biography I do read biographies and they tend to be quite haunting ones. Um like I, I read another one called The Black and Blue Sorry by Kamal Dillon. And there's kind of similarities here between the two. What did I read? I I wrote a I wrote a review. Um on the rare occasion I do read biographies, they always tend to be tragic yet ruthlessly honest woven tales that really have a sense of presser, presser, perseverance perseverance um, and tell tales of determination to keep going keep fighting and do not give up like they're not happy stories like the black and blue sorry was all about domestic abuse and this one is about her struggles with an eating disorder and the interesting thing about this one is it was written by Alina or Elena and her mother, Claire B. Dunkel. And now I found out that her mother has also written a book called Hope and Other Luxuries, A Mother's Life with a Daughter's Anorexia. And I'm planning on reading that one next. But yeah, this book was just, oh, it's haunting. It was so tragic and beautiful and just all the feels. So many feels. Um just trying to do a really quick review um beautifully written yet tragically haunting but brutally honest account of one woman's struggle with an eating disorder um so winning this book from chronicle books and goodreads and obviously alina and claire and b dunkle because without them it wouldn't have been written um i didn't really choose this book i don't remember choosing this book and rather it chose me and I have no regrets because this book like spoke it spoke to me it was pretty impact impacting impactful sorry I'm really scattered right now um and although this this most of this it's pretty heavy story guys like it really heavy um and although it takes a long time for it to happen Elena's story does have some happy notes to it. And I wouldn't call the ending um, a happy ending, but it wasn't a sad ending either. It kind of ended neither here nor there, but right in the middle of, what did I call it? Directly in the middle between the two on, sal on, solid, on solid and balanced grounds. Um, yeah which I think is kind of like a metaphor for her coming to, to terms with everything. Like, she, it ended where she finally kind of was in a, a better place with her um, battles with anorexia and eating disorders. So I highly recommend reading the book. However, I would say to those who face the same issues Alina did, or Alina, especially eating disorders, to just take caution. Um, it is a very brutally honest tale of the battles that she faced and specifically a lot of the cruel things that 
she heard from her own inner voice. Um, and she worked really hard for several years to come to terms with her inner demons. And that is not to say that the same fate will happen to you if you're struggling with this. So, but that's the beauty of true stories. Like we all share a common experience, but in our own unique ways. So I just want to make sure that if you do suffer from an eating disorder, that you're not going into it blindsided. That it doesn't set you on a spiral. Like... Because it is really honest, you guys. It's really intense. Um, and I, I... I kind of... I connected it with a little bit of it. Um, I was once diagnosed as a borderline anorexic. So, I don't really know how to describe that because it's a really weird diagnosis. Sometimes when I get really, really depressed, I'll, like, restrict, but not to the point where I'm starving, so I guess that's kind of how I call it borderline. I have a really low BMI, but it also comes from Marfan syndrome. Uh, so I don't know if it's kind of hard to say what went down. I wasn't, I never had care from the psychiatrist who diagnosed me with that, so I don't always take that with like a grain of salt, but the one perspective I did really, really, really understand was the self-harm aspect, because I did struggle with self-harm and cutting. I can't see, but here and here. So I got that self-harm, self-infliction, that kind of aspect. I really connected with it. But yeah, no, this is a really good book. Um, TDLR, this memoir is blunt and often brutally honest, yet spine-tinglingly, beautifully written, true life account of Elena or Elena's struggles with several key issues with the main focus being on her eating disorder. The biography was written by her and her mother on a joint effort, which I think is really unique and was probably maybe almost, I don't wanna make any assumptions, but I would say perhaps therapeutic for the two, but you never know. I'm really interested to read her mom's book now and gain her perspective. So yeah, thank you again to Goodreads. So that's www.goodre. ADS.com and Chronicle Books. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, basically under Chronicle Books. And of course, yeah, Elena and Claire B. Dunkel. Elena has a website. I just want to mention that in the back of the book, um, okay, if you are struggling with an eating disorder, you should check out the National Eating Disorders Association. And the National Association of Anorexia Nervous, Nervosa and Associated Disorders and their websites will have really good information. I don't know if there's one for Canada. I don't imagine that it would probably be the same idea. But yeah, so if you read this book, it comes out this month, I believe. This is an advanced copy. It even says advanced reader's copy. And like, the front's kind of cool because there's all these letters and stuff talking about how it's an advanced copy and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to hang this up now. Yeah, so read books. Read what you like to read. Maybe don't read intense things <laughs> um, if it bothers you. Yeah. Sorry, this is rambling. Ugh. Bye, guys. One more time. Close up. The book comes out in May. So go, if you are interested in that, go get it from the library or go buy it or get it on your Kindle, whatever. Yeah, okay, bye guys.